Hi, I'm Michael Gaddis, your Rancho Santa Fe real estate expert. Today I want to take a little bit of time to uh, talk to you a little bit about the state of the real estate market in Rancho Santa Fe as of April uh, 9th, 2014. Now, I'm a, a data-driven guy, and if, if you're not familiar with me, um, I'm a real estate broker as well as an attorney and a mortgage broker. Now, I utilize skill sets from all three of those in helping my homeowners sell their homes for as much as possible. Now, you might ask yourself, well, what possible skill sets could you have as an attorney that will help you as a real estate broker um, or sell my house for as much as possible? Well, there's a lot, actually. Um, first off, the research and analytical skills used by an attorney um, can be used to help dissect data to determine what, what your true value of your house is. And Rancho Santa Fe is, is one of those areas that it's a little more difficult to really price out your house uh, than other communities because of the unique nature of the community. So what I do when I begin the process of trying to determine where a house should be priced is I take the time to look through data, lots and lots and lots of data. Now, one of the ways I do it is I look at Sandicor. Now, Sandicor is not the, the only database I look at, but for the sake of this video, the data that I'm going to give you comes from Sandicor, which is the local MLS. Um, in general, I start here to give myself a basis, um, in order to give myself a basis of where I should begin in, in my efforts to try to price your house. Now, pricing a house is important because if you price a house too high, you're just going to sit on the market. It's not going to do anything. And if you price a house too low, you could leave money on the table. So it's really important to try to figure out where that sweet spot is. What's the highest amount you think you can list it for and still reasonably sell it? Um, if you just want to list it for the hot, some crazy amount, you can do that, but it won't sell. And, and, I, and I see, as I can look at the data right now, I can see... Some probably there's a few of these listings that are going on in uh, Rancho Santa Fe where that's exactly what's going on. Either the agent has overpromised or the or the homeowner has unrealistic expectations as to what their house is worth. But uh, Rancho Santa Fe, as I look at this data, is a little bit more active than I would have anticipated. So it, there's a lot of active listings on on the market, and and that's that's very interesting to me. Uh, because compared to the number of sold, pending, and contingent, it's, it's, the actives overwhelm it. There is that, so that shows me there's a lot of activity in Rancho Santa Fe. So currently, according to, and, and with that being said, let's get right into the data. Um, and as I go through the data, I'm going to tell you a lot of numbers. But the most important numbers are the numbers that I'm going to talk about at the very end. So the rest of this is just some, for informative reasons. Uh, uh, for informational purposes. So if you uh, just bear with me, we'll get to the to the real pertinent data here shortly. Currently in, in Rancho Santa Fe, there are 238 active listings. Now, I find that number extremely, extremely high. In fact, I, I re-ran the, the uh, data set like three times to make sure that I, there wasn't an error. And, and it did. It came out every time the same number. So there are 238 active listings in Rancho Santa Fe. Um, the average home in Rancho Santa Fe that is currently active is four bedrooms, six baths, 6,512 square feet, has an average list price of $4.4 million, and an average list price per square foot of $669 um, per square foot. The average days on market is 119 days. That's a big number. The 119 days is a big number. So what does that tell me? It tells me that houses are priced high and that probably they're going to sit there a little bit longer. Um, that number slightly skewed, that 119 days, slightly skewed by the, the, the big house that's listed right there in Rancho Santa Fe right now. It has 10 bedrooms and 20 baths. It's 21,000 square feet, and its current list price is $40,000. Uh, I'm sorry, $40 million, not 40000 $40 million, with an average list price per square foot of $13,695 a square foot. Um, the, the, it's been on the market for 1,183 days. So that's a hard house to sell. Um, I don't know. Obviously, if it's been on the market for you know over three years at 40 million bucks, it's probably not worth 40 million bucks. Um, probably the price needed to be adjusted. It doesn't seem like there's been any price adjustments recently so or at all. So it, it, it seems that 
the, the homeowner is not really doesn't really care about selling it. If someone wants to come and buy it for forty million dollars, he'll sell it. Otherwise, he's just going to sit on it. That's my interpretation of that. Um, right now, there is one contingent listing in Rancho Santa Fe. Um, interesting um, because that this listing has four bedrooms, eight baths, six thousand five hundred thirty-one square feet, and is currently listed for two point one five million dollars and average, average list price per square foot of $329. Now, you're going to get really alarmed when you hear that number, 329 because that number is a lot different than the active list price per square foot, which was 669 but don't worry about that. Um, contingent listings always have lower prices per square foot because they're usually priced below market. Now, that doesn't mean that the, uh, that the investor on the loan for the lender is going to allow that. It just means that for whatever reason, that's the price that the that the real estate agent chose to uh, market it at in order to try to procure an offer. So there's only one contingent listing, and contingents, of course, mean short sales. So there's only one short sale that I can see right now based on just a pure data observation. So right now there are 33 pending listings in Rancho Santa Fe. Uh, the average pending listing has four bedrooms, five baths, 5,460 square feet, it has an average list price of two thousand eight hundred and I'm sorry, an average list price I keep saying thousand two million eight hundred and ten thousand dollars. Has an average list price per square foot of five hundred and seven dollars a square foot. So as you can see, we're getting back to normal here, a little bit closer to normal that as we move away from that contingent listing. The average days on market for these pending listings has been eighty eight days, which is not so bad. It's a little bit under three months uh, for houses of 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 uh, this nature, that's not such a bad amount of time. Uh, there, as of March 1st, or from March 1st, uh, 2014 to today, which is April 9th, 2014, there have been um, 31 list sold listings. So 31 houses have sold. That's a lot for Rancho Santa Fe. I mean, it seems to me, just because I look at data all the time, the numbers, there's a lot of activity going on there, which is a little bit unusual. Um, the average bedrooms were four bedroom, five baths, 5,563 square feet. The average list price for a home that sold in Santa, uh, Rancho Santa Fe is $3 million, just a little bit over. The average list price per square foot was $543 a square foot. Now, remember I told you, all this other data is, is, is fine and dandy, but ultimately the important piece of data is this piece of data. The average sold price per square foot I'm sorry, the average sold price is two thousand two million, I did the thousand again, two million seven hundred and eighty-five thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. So the average sold price per square foot is five hundred and nine dollars a square foot. That is the is the piece of data that um, is the most important. Now in Rancho Santa Fe, the that why I'm telling you this is the how I begin to start pricing houses, that particular piece of data is important but not overly that important because there's so many custom homes there's so many different ways to to uh, value your house that just a, a pure uh, price per square foot is not going to work as well in Rancho Santa Fe as it might work in Vista or Escondido or something like that it takes a much more in-depth analysis of Rancho Santa Fe in order to try to figure out where that sweet spot is where's that price that's not going to be unreasonable um, and it's going to still yet still sell your house. You want to try to maximize your return. You know, as I tell people, my job is not to not to just put your house on the MLS and sell it. My job is to sell your house for as much as I can. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to just sit here and try to talk you into selling it for a lower price and just cashing in. My job is to make is to justify myself. I'm supposed to sell your house for as much as I can. Um, so hopefully this data and this video helped you out a little bit. Um, this has been the April 2014 Rancho Santa Fe real estate market update. My name is Michael Gaddis. Um, if you would like to contact me to discuss your home situation in greater detail, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. You can contact me at area code 760-692-5950, 760-692-5950. Um, you can visit my website at www.michaelgaddis.com 
or you can swing by my office. My office is located in Carlsbad at 760-692-5950. I'm sorry, at 6104 Innovation Way, Carlsbad, California. It is really late. I am doing this video really late. So 6104 Innovation Way, Carlsbad, California. Um, don't be dissuaded by the fact that I am located in uh, Carlsbad. I go throughout the county, and I am in Rancho Santa Fe in the 119 area all the time. So I am a frequent visitor there, and uh, I love the area, and I would love the opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about your housing situation. Thank you so much, and as always, I give you more, but it doesn't cost you more.